Hey everybody, this is Will. Uh, I've been in the studio all day live streaming and recording. And so I, I decided to zone out for a little bit, head over to Facebook, and I noticed this Petrasonics had a brand new announcement. Um, and uh, so I thought I would watch this video in real time with you. I have not seen this. I haven't read anything other than knowing that the name of this is called Flow Capture. Uh, and the subtitle for this says, A New Way to Record Your Ideas. So um, <laughs> I figured I would watch this in real time and we'd play it and we'd see what happens. So uh, here we go, let's check it out. Okay, first off, I, I always just, I love the production style of uh, all the Spectrosonic stuff. It's so, so good, all their videos and stuff. And, <clears throat> oh, that's really cool. We should talk about how Eric Persing is also a creative, mad genius. Everything they do is awesome. Flow capture, okay, so there we go. So, we'll see what this says. It's just a dude that loves what he's doing, which is awesome. It's kind of infectious. Hey there. I love playing, but sometimes it drives me crazy how many steps it can take just to record an idea. My guess is this is going to you know, be you like have to set up capture your DAW, in, uh, you got to set Ableton. up your interface, we'll you have to deal with updates and compatibility. I hope it's not like a full fledged et cetera, et cetera. I don't think And I find do that, that by the see. time it's all finally working, you can easily lose that idea, especially when you're in the I zone agree. and in that kind of special <clears throat> flow state. Creative heads. I never thought I would use the capture stuff that in Ableton. And I felt like that was like, time. Uh, and so I asked our team to a make a special for people that don't know how to record to, to click in our but standalone it's been apps for Atmosphere, Keyscape, and Trillion. Okay, so we said standalone To address apps. this, and it's called Flow Capture. Okay. It's incredibly useful and it's really simple to use. I'm going to show you this. Check this out. All I have to do to capture what I just did is to just stop the recording. I wonder if he started the and recording. And hit enter. And now check this out. If I go to my desktop, now I have- Oh, that's cool, MIDI too. All the files saved and audio. automatically and named automatically. I've got the audio file, so I can play that. Yeah, that's really cool. And I've also got the MIDI file, so I've got the performances. And here's the unique part. It also saves the sound settings of Keyscape. I wonder if it records and it in real time, like if you Keyscape change is them. ready to record the next idea. So okay. let's record another quick improv. I'm going to jump over to, to hit record or if he just starts playing. And select the LA Custom Rhodes. Yeah, I'm wondering if I tweak settings phaser. like in real time. Will it remember that? And then do you have to and hit I'm gonna record? Modify a little bit here. I'm going to change the rate of the phaser to get it kind of a I guess you would have to really hit liquid record because otherwise you here. don't want it recording constantly. All right, great. And now I'm ready to record. So all I have to do okay, is hit so flow hit capture. Yeah. And now I've got. I wonder if there's a big gap of silence at the beginning because you hit record. Or not. Okay. I love that it records right, the boom. MIDI, records the audio to the settings. Flow capture. <clears throat> what I'm still interested to see is. Let's give it a quick name this time. I'm going to call okay. it. Uh, I'm interested to see if, uh, rows, as I change and like tweak settings live, does it record that save. also? I guess it's. And now maybe? I've I don't got. Know. We'll see. Two ideas captured in all the formats really that cool. I need to recreate it in my DAW. So uh, to bring it in your DAW, it's really simple. You just drag and drop. The fact it that you in. get MIDI so pull up, and the audio uh, and the file kind of reminds me of like um, and of course we can how Blackmagic has the extreme the ISO and you get audio. all the separate files. It seems like they so got some ins now inspiration got... from that. I guess there is a little gap in the beginning from when you're recording. Okay. Nice. Of course, that sounds great. It started but if I want to change and work with it more, uh, a MIDI file would be a lot more useful. So I'm going to yeah. bring the Liquid Roads MIDI file over. And now if I play it, I've only got a sine wave from Keyscape, right? Because it's a default sound. So then you empty. got that preset, so you can bring it So that this yeah. is where it gets really cool. I can take that Liquid Roads Keyscape, yeah. dot Keyscape Eric's file, like a master presenter too, because he's building the story, right? He's telling us exactly what can do. And look at that, it loads the right patch yeah. and the changes that I made to the phaser, and so now it's sounding 
exactly as I left it when I captured. And of course we can yeah. build the performance now uh, or build the idea out as much and modify it as much in the DAW, which is awesome. That's really, really cool. So we both have the ability to capture this sketch and idea and yeah. then to develop it. I was kind of worried really, when I saw this that they're building a full doll. Okay, so flow capture like also that. works with <clears throat> Omnisphere. Let's try starting like, with um, uh, this patch. This is just a really cool additional add-on. Okay, and if I want to modify it, kind of turn it into something else, I'm going to bring the cutoff down. This has got some nice motion in it. So let's see. So let's bring up the resonance. This would be the time maybe that he can tweak out. the settings and see if that can work. That's, again, that's what I'm really interested in. Nice, and then I'm going to change the amplitude envelope a little bit so it kind of fades in and then out. Nice. Okay, I want to add another patch to this, so let's go over. Which, gosh, I mean, obviously, I'm going to stack this so on part too. two. Like so I'm going to put part two on channel Everything one. else wishes it worked. And, and now as good uh, as I'm let's sure. try this one here. This one. Let's see. That's yeah, really cool, but it's, uh, it's huge, so I want to modify it. So let, first of all, let's dry it up, let's take the effects off, and then let's uh, bring the envelope down. So now I've got. Okay, cool. And now let's see what this sounds like uh, together. Combine it. Nice, I'm liking that. So let's go ahead and uh, capture that yep. new thing we've created here. I wonder if you can mini map that. I bet you what could. So I'm still interested to see, can you mini map flow capture uh, and if I move things in real time and modulate them, does that get recorded? He All right, modulate so anything, bam, so hit flow not. capture. Same thing. I'll call this one. This is cool though. Uh, uh, Omnius fun. So now I've got all of those elements to work with and here's the wild part. Did you notice that I never even saved anything in Omnisphere? All my custom settings that I just did are now preserved in this .omnisphere file right here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And now anyone else on any DAW with Omnisphere installed will be able to recall everything that I played and created perfectly, which is incredible. So all I have to do is... It's like a better way to export to presets too, which is really cool. Open up Omnisphere. You, save. you can say focus right in the now, moment, creating, patch. not have to Bring in that dot worry about saving stuff, which is and cool. And then it loads it. Boom, it's exactly and all his where I left it, which is incredible. This really does make capturing your ideas so much easier. Yeah. And best of all, Flow Capture is a free update for all Keyscape, Trillion, and Omnisphere 2 users. You gotta say the fact users. that Spectrosonic says so it go new get it now from Smart and they update and start using stuff. it. Enjoy. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really, really cool. I think uh, I was a little worried that they were creating their own doll, kind of like um, Universal Audio did Luna a couple years ago, which Luna is great. I mean, it looks really, really cool, but I love that they, um, I love it's a free update. I love that um, it, the goal is to stay focused in the moment and, and keep the creativity going. That's why I like Ableton's capture feature. Again, I thought at first I was never going to use it. It was just for people that can't play and record to click, but it really is so nice just to stay focused in the moment. Um, so Eric and the team at Spectrosonics, I think it's awesome. Again, questions I have, I wonder if you can mini map that button. I would imagine you could, um, in a standalone Spectrosonics, uh, app to, he said standalone. I don't know if I caught that he said you could do that with the plugin in a doll. I don't know if it works the same way or is only in the standalone. I would imagine it's only in the standalone since that, uh, since he like mentioned that is in standalone. Um, two, I wonder though too if, um, let's see if it says anything. It's available now. Yeah, I love it. It's a free update. Um, <clears throat> I wonder too if I went in and was tweaking. Uh, the filter, opening and closing a filter in Omnisphere, if that would be recorded. I guess it could be recorded in MIDI, if you had MIDI mapped it. I don't know, that's really interesting. But yeah, uh, great.
Great job, Spectrosonics. I, I love it. Um, really cool stuff. So there you have it. I guess I'm a real YouTuber now that I've done my first Reacts video, but I just thought this would be a fun way to um, watch this in real time and see what I thought. So there you have it. Uh, if you like using Ableton Live on stage, performing live on Able uh, on stage with Ableton Live, uh, then hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. I post new content every single day. Not all of it is Reacts videos. In fact, I may never do this again, but this was fun. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.